Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we are going to create a super simple and organized named route in Flutter. This will be a great video for absolute beginners who just started to learn Flutter. Ok, let's start. Since we want to have everything organized, first we need to structure our navigation route files and folders in the project. Inside our lib folder create two files route and views. Inside the route folder create a route.dart file. This file will be our controller for managing routes. In the views folder create all pages name that you need to use. In our case it will be just a login, home and settings dart files. Now Let's go to each files and create our simple pages. First, I'm gonna start with login page, import material design package, create a stateless widget with the name login page. Instead of returning a container, we're going to return a scaffold widget. Just for demonstration, let's create an app bar with the title login page and the body with elevated button. This button we're gonna use for route in transition. For now, just return a null on press function. Ok, next, let's do exactly the same thing for home and settings page. Great! Now we're ready to create our navigation route. Go to the route.dart file, import material design package and let's import all our pages. Just make sure that instead of named route, you have to use your own project name. Next, let's define our route name. It will be a const string login page constring home page and constring setting page. Then let's create our controller function so that we could manage our routing flow. Create route dynamic controller and inside controller write route settings settings. Note that settings variable has two important parameters. First one is settings.name which will contain the route name and the second one is a settings.argument. We're not going to use setting that argument in this tutorial, but just want to say that with this parameter you can pass any object between routes. Inside our controller, create a switch case statement. Switch takes a setting that name parameter, which is our page name. Login page, which return material page route. Do the same thing for home page and settings page. The default will be just throwing an error. Ok, awesome! Next, let's go to our main.dart file and initialize our routes. I will remove everything except my app class. Import a route.dart file as route. And inside the material app, I will create onGenerateRoute, which takes route.controller. And our initial route will be route.login page. Finally, let's go to our each page and make a transition between each other. Don't forget to import our route.dart file inside each page. Everywhere where we have on press null type navigator dot push name context and our route name where we want to go. For example, route.homepage. Do the same thing for each page. Great! Now if we save everything and reload, we can now move between pages. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video.